We're going to talk a little bit about key concepts from day six, talking about fitting lines, where we're trying to find the best linear model for some data. In this particular lesson, we wanted to determine which linear model is a better fit for a given data set, which we'll take a look at in the cooldown in a second. We want to interpret the rate of change vertical intercept for a linear model in everyday language, and then we wanted to use technology to generate the line of best fit, which I'll show you how to do when we get to the, the cooldown. So first of all, key concepts. Some data appear to have a linear relationship and some does not. If we look at these two graphs over here, one of them looks like the dots are more in kind of a straight line than the other one. So this one right here looks like it would best be fit by a linear model. This one over here, the data is a little too scattered around. I can't necessarily say that that is a linear trend. Um, they're a little too scattered for that. If I had more data points, maybe it would start to look more like this. But this right here, not clearly linear to me. So what you're looking for is where the dots generally follow sort of a, a, a line. They can be messy because, you know, the real world, nothing's perfect. Secondly, um, we can model with a linear function for this one right here. And what we need to do is we need to find a linear function that's close to the data. The line should have a y-intercept and slope to follow the shape of the data as much as possible. And we can use technology. Uh, so let's go take a look at the cooldown and talk about a couple of those things. So first of all, number one. Which of these scatter plots shows data that would be best modeled with a linear function? What we're looking for is we're looking for a graph where the dots kind of follow a straight line. So there's option A. Option B, well, let's see, can I draw a straight line through? Well, I don't know. It looks like there's a trend here, but that's not a linear trend, I don't think. Uh, okay, so option C, which of those three is best fit by a straight line? That's the question that's being asked. Now, question number two, which of the lines is most likely the line of best fit for the data provided? You might be tempted to look at this graph down here, which, you know, that's okay. And if you were to draw a line here, you might say, oh, my y-intercept is clearly like 10, but... Look at the look at the x-axis, the number of trees. It doesn't start at zero. So the way that we can use technology to actually come up with our line of best fit is we're going to take these values right here and we're going to put them into Desmos. So let's switch over to Desmos. So I've already typed in all of these data points uh, and we've got all of our dots on here. Once you get all of your dots in, the best thing to do is click on the little micro magnifying glass icon down next to your table with a plus sign and that'll I'll make automatically give you a good window for it now the way that we come up with the equation for a line of best fit is we use this little function down here it's y equals mx plus b form and what i've done is i've told desmos that we're going to take x1 and y1 from our table and we're going to try to find a linear relationship in this format, y equals mx plus b. And you do that, uh, if you look at the keyboard down next to the 1, 2, 3, there's like that a with like a b below it. That's how you do the subscripts. And then the little squiggle line is, you know, straight to the right from there. So y1 is approximately equal to some number times x sub 1 from our table plus some other number and what it does is it automatically will generate the line and it will tell you what m and b are and that's how we figure out a line of best fit using technology so if we go back to the cooldown that's all you need to do type in your information do the y sub one squiggle x sub one m x sub one plus x M, X sub 1, plus B. Yes, there we go. And uh, figure out which of these lines right here is closest to what you came up with. If you have any other questions, let me know.